So 2013 has been a, another year of very substantial progress for, for Aegeus, uh, and the headline being that our, that our profits have increased year on year. Uh, below that headline, uh, our income uh, has, has increased from 2012, uh, helped substantially, of course, by the Group Armour acquisition. Our combined operating ratios are, are improving. We've always maintained a disciplined approach to pricing and underwriting, and that's continued in 2013. Uh, we've also seen household have a, a pretty good year, actually. Uh, I know there's been lots of weather in the fourth quarter, uh, and that's, uh, that's clearly had an effect, but only to make the household account a very good year as opposed to an exceptional year. And we're seeing some improvement in Tesco underwriting as well, which we're very pleased about. Uh, if you put it all together, we now have over 9 million uh, policies uh, across our, across our uh, businesses, and our motor account has reached a new record of 3.6 million policies. So outside of the, uh, the financial measures that I've been talking about, 2013 again has seen some major changes. Towards the start of the year, we had a, a transition in roles and people. So I took over as UK CEO, uh, Francois Xavier became CEO of insurance, and Mark became CEO of retail and distribution. Those changes filtered down within the UK business. Those changes are largely complete and have gone very well. Uh, the big deal in 2013, of course, was the uh, continued integration of Group MR. Uh, and I'm very pleased that we've maintained the product range uh, and, and the range of services that Group Armour brings with it, uh, together with um, we've, we've, we've inherited some great people and some new skills as well. Again, towards the start of the year in, in 2013, we established a common retail first notification of loss team and our ABS, Aegeus Law. Uh, that was a big deal for us. We didn't take that decision lightly and we put some controls in place to make sure that our customers would be treated appropriately. The feedback we've had from customers who've dealt with Aegeus Law has been fantastic. We're very pleased with the way that's going. And the other, flag, the other change that I would flag in terms of uh, 2013 is within Rias and Castle Cover, we made quite a substantial decision to move away from a panel of insurers and just to have a GS Insurance as the sole underwriter for those brands. Uh, and, and again, that change has been made well, uh, and we, we move forward with Rias and Castle Cover supported by a GS Insurance. So in 2014, lots to do. Uh, the market's not going to get any less competitive. Uh, so we need to build on strong foundations. Uh, we think those foundations are around focusing on the customer uh, and providing great customer service. Within the heading of customer, we would have our trading partners, so our brokers and our affinity partners. So uh, maintaining close relationships with those trading partners and being responsive to their needs is something that's continually important uh, for us. Um, linked to that, the whole strategic rationale of buying Group MR was around keeping a broader range of products and services available to brokers in particular. Uh, we've got some internal work to do around computer systems and the like, but it's really important to us that we maintain the breadth of, of product range and, and services that we now have within a GS. Uh, and I'm very pleased to report that uh, we, at the moment we have a very healthy pipeline of, of business opportunities and a good part of that pipeline is in the non-standard space that's not really the traditional area that Tegeus has played in. So we're, we are seeing the benefits of, of that acquisition come through. More generally, we'll, we will maintain our pricing discipline. Um, we're watching with interest where motor rates go during the course of this year. Uh, there's some talk of them increasing. We'll see if that happens. As I say, we're monitoring the situation closely. Within household, uh, weather would appear to feature every year. So we need to price in weather events, but maintain competitive rates in household. We're very keen to do that. Uh, and over the last year or two, we've done some work on our commercial insurance portfolio to um, bring the combined operating ratio down. That's now in a in a position where we're quite happy with that account 
and we'd look to look to grow and develop, particularly in the SME uh, sector. Um, more widely, uh, within our retail businesses, we have some challenges within our retail businesses. We need to focus on on the brands there, on the customer proposition there. Uh, and, and make sure that the cost base is fit for purpose going forward. So plenty to do in, in 2014. Well, I think uh, for the industry in 2014, uh, the amount of external scrutiny is not going to get any less. So we've got the PRA and the FCA, they've definitely got their feet under their respective tables now, and so they are uh, engaging with the industry on a very regular basis. Uh, we've got the Competition Commission review running in motor, uh, but it's wider than the, the pure regulatory front. We've got the media and we've got politicians uh, taking a very active interest. So all of, all of this means that the reputation of the industry is uh, under, under scrutiny. Um, and, and, and to be honest, there are areas where the industry can probably up its game. So I think that's... Uh, that's an ongoing dialogue during the course of this year. Uh, we will be watching rates. Uh, there's, uh, there's currently a situation where premium rates in both motor and home are falling. Uh, I think there's real questions as to whether that's sustainable in motor. So we'll be monitoring that situation very closely. And more widely, um, we're, we're nothing without our customers. And, and customers will decide how they want to interact with uh, with their insurance provider, so whether it's uh, through mobile or whether it's through social media or whether it's through some other new technology development, we need to keep our eye on all of those things. Yeah, a year at the helm, 12 months that have just disappeared in no time at all. Uh, it's obvious that it's a role with, uh, with great variety and, and it operates at pace, um, unrelenting pace really. So never a dull moment and, and, and that's absolutely fine. Um, a, a role in which you're never, you can never be complacent. So every now and again you think that things are running smoothly and two or three challenges will just pop up out of nowhere and they need addressing with urgency. So it keeps you on your toes. Uh, one, one of the most pleasing things I think uh, that I've had confirmed really, I think I probably knew it already but had confirmed, is that Aegeus' reputation is, is really strong. Um, our reputation with regulators, uh, with the trade bodies, uh, with our, our trading partners, our brokers and our affinity partners. So all of those things come through. And, and, and really with our trading partners, this underlying reputation for providing really great service and also um, a, a motivation and attitude to do the right thing, that comes through all the time and that's really, really pleasing to hear.